Hello, this is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to show you four tricks in Microsoft Excel with autofill. Tip number one, up in A1, I'm going to put in the number one. I'm going to get the crosshairs for autofill and pull down, let go. I'm expecting to see one through 11. I got the number one each time. I'm going to undo. So what I'm going to do is going to right click the fill handle, pull down. When I let go, I get a shortcut menu. And the second one down says, I'm going to fill the series. So there's the numbers 1 through 11. That worked because it was numbers. Now in column B, I'm going to do text. I'm going to put in the zip code for one of our cities, 30043. I put it in as text. It's aligned to the left, and it's got the green triangle. I pull down. I'm expecting to see 30043 all the way down. I don't. So I'm going to right click, pull down. There's that right click shortcut menu. I'm going to do a copy cells. Before I do this, I want to point out a lot of stuff is grayed out here because it's not available and it shouldn't be. So let me go ahead and do copy cells because I'm about to do one of these other ones. So there is tip number two. The first one was with a number. The second one was with text. Tip number three is with dates. In J1, control semicolon will put in the current date, which today is August 17th. Drag down. Everything is actually correct. The issue is today is Friday the 17th. Then it's got Saturday the 18th and the 19th. <clears throat> I need this for work, so I just need Monday through Friday. So I'm going to right click instead of left clicking. Pull down, let go. Fill weekdays. Today's Friday the 17th. We skipped the 18th and 19th. We went to the 20th. 24th is a Friday. The 27th is a Monday, so it's working. That was tip number three with dates. The fourth tip with autofill, and this one's actually a really cool one. I already have data in column F and in column G. If I chart this right now, Alt F1, my chart is correct. I'm going to right click on any column, go to form, go to add trend line. It'll pull up a task pane over to the right. By default, it'll do linear, linear, or exponential are very popular. I'm going to stick with linear, click out of it, close the task pane. That trend line is great. But I'm going to click back in the chart because I want to extend it out one more quarter, the next three months of 18. So I'm going to pull it down. And it actually, there's nothing wrong. It's perfect. The trend line continued for the next three months, except I want to see the columns. So to do that, I'm going to highlight these numbers. I'm going to right click. Auto fill down. I know that that's off my screen. Let me let me collapse the ribbon and do it again now. Right click, auto fill down. Linear trend. When I click it, watch January through March fill in on my chart, and the numbers filled in in column G. So that was a right click to find out a linear trend to go with my trend line. So there are the four tips. And actually, I'm going to give you one more. I'm going to sum up this range. I'm going to average it. I'm not going to do the median and large. You see where I'm headed. So here is the sum function right here. Here's the average function. I don't want anyone to see my formulas. I want just the values. I'm going to highlight them. I'm on the border. This time I'm not on autofill though. I'm going to right click, pull down, pull back up, move here, copy here. I'm sorry, copy here is values only. There is no formula sum now. There is no average. I'm going to undo. 
So that's the only, that's the fifth trick I did, but that was really not an autofill trick because I'm on the border of it. And I can be up here too, it doesn't matter. Right click, pull down, pull back up. Copy here as values. I appreciate it. Everyone have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.